Hey everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back for another episode of Lock Talk. Today's question comes from Michael Smith and he asked, I have a question. I've had locks for three months. They're actually pretty long. I started with a little bit of an afro. I've been using a do-rag, but they curl up. What do you recommend using to sleep? This is a good question and I get asked it a lot. I use different things, so I'm gonna go through what I think that you should use according to where you are and how your hair is. Um, I'm guessing your hair is too long to fit under a do-rag, I believe. There's only like one real way to tie a do-rag, you know. You're basically tying it here and like here. So if your hair is any longer than that, I can see how it will get crunched up, scrunched up and, and bent all up inside the do-rag. Unless you um, let it sit down and then tie it over it, but then uh, you'll probably have like bends in your in your locks if you do it that way. So I wouldn't recommend that you use a do rag to go to sleep if you if your locks are any longer than like an inch. Clearly, you're a guy, and this may not be popular among guys, but I definitely would recommend it if you put your pride aside and sleep in a bonnet, a satin or silk bonnet. You can get a satin one real cheap if you want to be fancy and get a silk one, more power to you. But yeah, satin bonnets, you know, you can get them at the beauty supply store or a drugstore maybe, 99 cent store. And those pretty much do the trick. They have elastic going around the edges, but, you, but um, since they're not flat like a do-rag, they have space where you can fit your locks in there and they can move around comfortably and they wouldn't, when you wake up, they won't come out scrunched and bent out of shape so bonnets are really great bonnets they typically don't come in too many lengths so if you're like if your locks are pretty long you may not want to use a bonnet you might not find a bonnet that can accommodate you so in those cases I may recommend that you use something like a dread sock or a lock sock those are two brands this is a dread sock right here um, they come in different lengths basically they're like socks but for your locks okay so I found a lock sock they're like this, here's the elastic band and it's open. And these come in different lengths, just like dread socks. So, mind you, these are the names of the brands. Dread sock is a brand and lock sock is a brand. The lock socks are similar to these, except they're not really meant, they're not really designed to go to sleep. They're more designed for fashion. So, oftentimes, we feel pretty restricted when our hair is completely covered. So for those of you who need more circulation in your scalp and your head, if you get headaches, lock socks may be a better option for you rather than these these dress socks. Maybe you can try them both out and see what works best for you. Another option, or the most simplest option, is a, a satin or silk scarf. You know, those big square scarves. You can, you know, fold them into a triangle, wrap them around your edges, and tie them in the back. You can let it out in the back if you want your locks to be out. Or if not, you can, you can tuck your locks in and tuck the end the point of the triangle underneath and tie it on top of that which is pretty basic I'm sure a lot of people do that that's another option if you don't like to tie your hair down to sleep at all that's you don't have to tie it down but if you want like if you still want your hair to remain free from lint that can get in your locks overnight or free from you know getting disheveled you know you want to make sure your edges are laid you can definitely um, invest in satin pillowcases and satin sheets and things like that so that um, your hair stays smooth overnight and free from lint that comes from cotton often that's pretty much it if you have any other recommendations on how this person can sleep in their locks or how anyone can sleep in their locks definitely leave a comment below let me know what you think by the way if you're wondering how my edges are looking fuller than usual make sure you check out my previous video on edge full and get the scoop remember to check out my playlist for all of my lock talk episodes make sure you check those videos out before you ask me a question because i may have already answered it for you in a lock talk video thank you so much for watching please remember to subscribe if you don't already share this video film it up check out my website keishacharmaine.com check out my jewelry store lovelilocks.storeenvy.com and that's it follow me on instagram at killer does that follow my store's instagram at lovelightlocks and thanks for watching
Love Lion Locks. <laughs>